<laughs> yeah, it was a good day here at Thunder Valley, 2-1 for first overall, and was able to get the red plate, and I haven't had that in a long time, so it feels really, really good, and it's bittersweet, and um, had a good battle with my brother, and he was riding probably the best I've ever seen him, and I was pretty proud of him, and, and uh, yeah, just a good day, and we're going to embrace it. How, how weird was it to come around in that first moto and, and see Joey parked on the side? Yeah, I mean, it's bummed, you know. I mean, I've had, I've had you know, an issue with the dirt bike, and I wasn't able to make the start of the race. So any time that happens, or even if you go down like that last-minute deal, that's pretty, it's pretty de demoralizing because you put in so much effort through the whole moto, and he had it, right? He was winning. And then I think to, it's a bummer. Talk about the the style of the track. I'm, I mentioned it in the press conference, but it, it seems like we've gotten a little less prep and kind of let them be a little more natural here. Yeah, I mean, I've been pretty vocal about it, and um, people are probably kind of hating on me for vo being vocal and saying I'm making excuses, but this is the great outdoors, and it's supposed to be deep and rough and, and uh, gnarly. So, I mean, they've definitely been smoother and faster, I think, and choppier, which is kind of scary, because um, usually when the track's deep and soft, it kind of slows down quite a bit. So. Um, nonetheless, we all got to ride it, and we're just dealing with it, and uh, just move on. The the downhill, watching you guys, man, I could about hear teeth chatter in some of the bumps down there, though. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you're hitting those bumps. I mean, that downhill used to be more rough, um, but the, the bumps were just big enough to where it was kind of a little scary because you were still giving it the beans over them, you know? <laughs> so what are you looking forward to on a week off here? Uh, not having to catch a flight. Yeah, just chilling and go back to Cortez, Colorado and have fun and no one's around and maybe go uh, go fishing or go kayaking or something and just have fun. I was going to say, what's a, what's a good time in Cortez? Uh, you do it in Cortez, it's a little bit different. You got to you gotta find things to do. So I'll shoot my bow or shoot my gun or um, like I said, go paddle boarding out on the lake or go fishing and um, after all my, all my work's done. We'll go enjoy the win. Thank you.